Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about the chapter soil. So in this chapter we will be learning about the soil teeming with the life heading, soil profile, properties of soil and the crops which can be grown in various types of soil. So let's begin the soil teeming with life. So what is soil? So one of the most natural resources found is the soil. It helps the plants to grow that's why soil is very important. So it is very important for the agriculture purpose and it also has many different types of organisms like earthworm bacteria which are needed for this agriculture purpose and needed for the sustenance of the life of the soil. Uh, various types of organisms can be found there and hence we can say that soil is a very important natural resources. So we can see the various types of organisms which are there like beetles, various types of beetles we can see there and farmer's friend which is also known as the earthworm. So they will maintain the soil fertility and another type of springtail beetle. So next topic is the pollution of the soil. We know what is pollution. Pollution is something which is added unwanted thing by human to change the nature of either water, air or the soil. So in this chapter as we are dealing with the soil, we are learning about the soil pollution. So soil can be polluted by various chemicals like detergents, soaps or from factories, different types of hot water. They can change the nature of the soil or by when we use the polythene bags. So when we just throw the polythene bag, these polythene bags or the plastics, they remain on the soil preventing the air entering into the soil. So when air doesn't enter into the soil, it kills the microorganisms which are living in the soil. So when microorganisms are not there, it changes the fertility of the soil. So we should use, uh, minimize the use of fertilizers or any of these chemicals and also the use of polythene bags. Next we have to learn about the soil profile. Soil profile is the uh, different layers of the soil which is known as the profile of the soil or soil profile. So when we see here, when we dig the soil deeper, we can see different strata or different layers of soil which can be seen by different colors and also by the different types of rocks which are found there. So based on that, it is classified into the top soil which contain large amount of humus, then the A soil, A layer, B layer, B horizon, C horizons. So we will be learning about one of these horizons. So soil profile is the vertical section through the different layers of the soil and each layer they will be different in their color and as we go down the composition of the soil will change as well as the color will change and these layers are called the horizons. So when we study about the horizon they, that is there is an uppermost layer which contain humus. Humus means the dead leaves or the dead plants which are there on the top of the soil. So it increases the fertility of the soil and thereby the plants will grow more if the soil is rich in humus. Below the humus we have the A horizon. This layer is very soft, porous, porous means the air and the water can easily enter through it and it has the ability to retain more water because it has the humus in it. So because it has humus, it provides shelter for the many living organisms like beetles, rodents and moles. Moving on to the next horizons, we have the B, C and bedrock. B horizons, this have less humus compared to that of the A horizon but they contain more of the minerals present. They will be more harder and compact compared to that of the A horizon. C horizon, this is a layer which is made up of small lumps of rocks with cracks and cervix 
So there will be cracks will be there in those rocks so that the root of the plant can go deeper into this layer. Bedrock is another layer of soil which contain large bigger rocks. So they are the mother rocks will be present which is called the bedrock. So we have different horizon A, B, C and the bedrock. After learning about the horizons, let's move to the topic weathering. Weathering is a process by which the soil is formed. Soil is formed by the breaking of the larger parent rock by the action of wind, water, climate. So we are not going to learn in detail about how the wind, water and climate affect the soil formation but they are the factors which causes or they are the reason for the soil formation. The nature of the soil naturally because soil comes from the rocks so naturally the type of rock and the type of soil present in a different region depend upon the parent rock. And depending upon that, the vegetations also will be different. Vegetation means the plant which grow in that particular uh, soil or in that particular area will be varying according to the soil which is present. The soil types, types of soil. So soil we have learned is produced by the weathering of the rocks and the soil which is thus formed will be of different texture depending upon the parent rock. So we have different types of soil like sandy soil, clay soil and the mixture of these rock particle and humus it is called the soil. The soil sizes will be varying the particles portion proportions of the particles varies and based on that we give different names to the soil. We have sandy soil if the particle size is larger. Clay soil if the proportion of the soil is very fine and loamy soil if they are composed of large and fine particles. So loamy soil will contain both sandy soil, clay soil and silt will be present. It is a soil which we can see in the garden where more plants can grow easily. We are going to learn about the properties of soil. The different properties of soils change, varies according to the type of soil. So first when we learn about the size of the soil, the sands are they are larger and as they are larger they do not fit very closer. So they have large space between them and these space are filled with air. So because air is there and larger particles so they cannot hold much of the water so water can drain easily from this type of soil so you can see the particle size sand of course we all have seen the sizes you can see here the particle size are bigger they have enough space is there so the water drains from them easily next is the clay soil the clay soil you can see here they are fine size very small minute they are very tightly packed and they do not have air between them so they can hold more water and as uh, they are finer particles they do not allow water to pass through it. And the third soil is loamy soil. It is the best soil for the growing plants. It is a mixture of sand, clay and silt. The size of the silt is between sand and clay. The loamy soil can hold moderate amount of water. Uh, it is lesser than the clay soil, more than the sandy soil. So they also have humus in it and it is good ideal for the plants to grow. Next property is percolation. Percolation is the ability of the uh, soil to allow the water moves through them. So Depending upon the size of the particle, the percolation varies. So percolation is a process of filtering liquid while passing through a filter paper when we do in the laboratory. So usually when there is a rain, the rain water sweep through these particles of the soil and if the sandy soil is there, it will allow the percolation of water will occur faster compared to the so uh, loamy soil or the clay soil. So percolation rate of the soil depends upon the amount of water which is absorbed by the soil. 
different soil have different percolation rate and the rate of percolation is the ratio of the amount of water in milliliter by the percolation time so sandy soil percolation time will be lesser faster because they will be easily allow the water to move through, move through them clay soil percolation time will be very slow because they will they are fine particles they capture the water in between them and does not allow water to move through them very easily whereas loamy water will come in between the sandy soil and the um, clay soil next is the moisture in soil so moisture in soil we know the amount of water which is present in the soil is called the moisture of the soil so this one experiment is there this is to take the soil different types of soil you can take in a test tube and heat it so we can observe the amount of droplets of water at the tip of this test tube indicate the amount of mo that is the soil has some moisture present in them so that one mechanism is exhibited by the soil that is called shimmering effect so shimmering is a mechanism exhibited when the water from the soil evaporate due to the sunlight so the water will turn into water vapor so when the uh, sun's rays reflect on these water vapor it appears to be shiny that is called shimmering effect of the uh, mechanism now here you can see in this road you can see there is feel like this water is present and when you go closer to it there will not be any water it is just the water vapor which get reflected the droplets of water get reflected by the sun rays that is the shimmering effect of water next is the absorption of water absorption mean how much amount of water the soil will absorb so it again varies from soil to soil clay and loamy soil will it retain more water compared to the sandy soil hence it does not support much of vegetation we can calculate the amount of water which is absorbed by the soil by the weight of a soil we have to calculate uh, take a approximately measurable amount of soil measurable amount of water initial amount of water is u if you are taking 50 ml uh, 50 grams of soil and 50 ml of water you are pouring through that water in a uh, in a funnel and uh, you are allowing 15 minutes and you can see how much water is collected at the beaker which is kept below so by looking at it we will know how much water is absorbed by that soil so that will give you the different soil have different ability to absorb the water next property of the water uh, of the soil is the so we have learned the property different various types of properties absorption percolation and the moisture content in it the last topic which we are coming is the soil and the crops so in india we find different types of soils are present so these soil uh, depend upon the naturally depend upon the parent rock and these soil also affect the type of uh, plant vegetation which is found in a particular area and the vegetation also depend upon the climate which are there so usually the factors which affect the soil is wind rainfall temperature and humidity so if the it's too windy and if there's less rainfall temperature is very high and humidity is very less mostly this type of climate or factors are seen in the desert so the plant growth will be less in those area so the climate and the soil determine the type of vegetation which is found in that area so if it is a clay soil which has the ability to absorb more of the water it is good for the paddy plant in loamy soil which have more organic matter can drain water easily does not hold much water it's good for cereals and the sandy soil does not hold much water it is good for the cotton plants to grow and our less, last topic is erosion so soil erosion happens when the fertile layer of the soil is lost either by wind or the water rain water when it's uh, falling so when the vegetation is less plants are less due to the cutting of the forest so the top layer is lost fertile layer is lost so this is called soil erosion so we have to prevent the soil erosion by planting